Hi Libra, welcome to Sexing Psychic with yours truly, Candace, the spiritual goddess, and we're here to do your Venus in retrograde reading. Uh, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you, but if you do, uh, if you do resonate, please like, comment, um, subscribe, and share the video, um, you know, for future updates and future readings. I am going to be using crystals to read you guys' energy. Um, there may be two or three different categories of different Libras um, that are going to be affected during this retrograde. Uh, so if it applies to you, that's great. If it doesn't, please check out your, um, your moon sign, your rising, or your Venus. Uh, if you are interested in a personal reading specifically for your situation, please go to my website, which is in the description box at www.candicegsmith.com. All right, Libras, let's see what's going on with you. So when I was placing your cards down, the first thing, I mean, the great thing, you have a bullseye here. Um, you guys, so there's one group of Libras where you have just good fortune. Um, you probably feel emotionally content. Um, you just have this feeling that everything is working out. You don't know what, and this is even for some of you guys that haven't even seen it yet. You just have a feeling. If you're a Libra where you just have a feeling like something good is getting ready to happen, something good is getting ready to happen. Like the way this crystal is positioned right here, it's, it's saying that you guys, that right now your intuition is pretty high. Um, again, this is one category of Libras. Um, your intuition is pretty high. Um, I don't know. You just feel like, you know, like you did. A, it's almost like I'm, I'm hearing like, well done, Libra. Some of you guys have really learned your lesson um, or lessons. And some of you guys have really gotten to a point where you knew there was change that needed to be taken place. That you knew there was change. You identified changes that needed that were very necessary. Um, yeah, some of you guys are just really tired of being single. Are you like you recognize cycles? You recognize that the same things were happening, the same exact things in your life were happening with different people. And you kind of realize you had an aha moment, like maybe it's not them, maybe it's me. I don't know. And you kind of made some active changes. And you actually have made some active changes. Are you making active changes right now? Uh, some of you guys just want something different where you're, um, you're doing something different with your body, with your hair. You're trying something different. Some of you guys are in the gym right now. Um, you really are, or you might be eating better. You're being more cautious about your health. Um, maybe changing something with your hair. Some of you guys might be dyeing your hair, cutting your hair. You're just doing something to change yourself. And that's kind of a representation of the changes that you are going through internally. So some of you guys, because of those changes, you're now being rewarded. And you just feel, and again, some of you guys have already started to see some of your manifestations occur and happen. But some of you guys just have the feeling that it's going to happen. And you're right. It's coming. It's coming. Just be a little bit more patient. I promise you it's on the way. It's here. So that's, that's, that's a great thing. Okay, we have a second category of Libras here. Um, there's a second group of Libras here that just cannot get out of the past. You are still doing the blame game. You're still doing well with everybody else. Is well, that person did this to me, and that person did that to me, or well, this happened to me, and that happened to me. Some of you guys are real life victims, um, and have continued to. It, it's like it's almost like a blame game. Um, not taking really any responsibility for change. It's actually the complete opposite from the first group. It's you have this other side that's still that's very much preoccupied with the past. You cannot get out the past. Like you live in the past. You're focusing on everything behind you instead of like focusing on the things that are in front of you, the things that are coming. Like you're focused more about what this person did, what that person did, what that person didn't do, what that person, you know, what didn't happen with that situation. Um, it's the, what you don't have, like some of you guys are really just more negative than you are positive, and you're noticing nothing is moving for you. Like you're noticing you keep attracting negative things, negative occurrences, like the same things keep happening over and over and over again, and nothing seems to be changing. And some of you guys are feeling very hopeless because of that. Like you feel hopeless, like, well, damn, is this my life? You know, well, damn, you know, this, this is how it's going to be. I'm never going to find love. I'm never going to be with anybody. I'm never going to have the money that I want. Like some of you guys have adopted and carried that mindset and you really are like real life victims. Um,
I don't know where this is coming from, Libras. This is for all of you guys. Number seven is very important for you right now. I don't know what that's about. Look up life path number seven or the energy of number seven. But number seven is a very important time for you. Oh, also too. So seven, I know what that means. Okay, so some of you guys are really, uh, there's another group of you are a combination of all three. That's actually too overindulging. You, you're doing way too much, Libra. Like, um, so some of you guys are really overindulging. Um, it's like you're not wanting to face and deal with your reality. You kind of have become, again, more of that, you kind of in that victimized mode and, you know, everything is just wrong and you're the victim and it's not your fault and the world is just unfair, life is unfair and all this other stuff. And as you guys know, you guys are the scales. You need balance. You have to keep balance in your life. When your balance, when your scales are off, you you, you just you, you guys are just not right. And so some of you guys, your scales are completely off and you keep turning to overindulgence. You keep turning to um I feel like there's like a lot of alcohol. There might be there's 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 things. There might be it's probably food. Um, it, it's, it's a lot of different things that are happening where it's just like you're, you're really like this retrograde is really triggering your dark shadow sides. And some of you guys are resisting the change that needs to occur for you to move forward to become that first group of Libras that I just had discussed initially when I first started the video. Some of you guys can't get over a past person. You keep going back and forth and ending up in the same situation. Like, the, the main thing for this group of uh, Libras that I'm talking about right now is, like, you keep... If you're one that's continuing to repeat the same cycles over and over and over and over again with the same results, that's who I'm talking to. You, you, it's like you're just growing... You're growing older, but not growing mentally. It, it's, it's like... You're, just, you're so resistant and some of you guys are being so stubborn with your path and your purpose and just with these lessons you're being so stubborn with it and what's how oh gosh oh some of you guys are going to go through a major tower strike because you're not listening where you're about to lose something or someone and i'm not trying to be negative but uh, some of you guys somebody or there's a group of you guys who are either you're already going through it right now where you're just losing you're losing things are you getting ready to go into a situation or circumstance where you're like almost like rock bottom? You're rock bottom and you have no choice but to change. So the ones that have taken taken initiative to change and to accept um, accept things as how they are and to move on with their lives and to 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 become more secure within yourself, you guys are being rewarded. Your brightest dreams and and, and wishes are happening and coming true. And if you don't Again, if you haven't seen it yet, it is coming. Just be a little bit more patient. And there's another part of, there's another side of you guys, another group of you guys where you guys are about to, shit's about to hit the fan and you guys are going to go through a rude awakening. But it's like to the point where be cautious. I do feel, okay, I don't like this right here. Some of you guys, this tower that's getting ready to hit is really going to test you. Um, where you're going to be questioning life. You're going to be questioning life, whether or not you want to be here or not. You're going to be questioning life. Are you already in that mode right now where you are going back and forth and through depression where you're questioning life? Please be cautious. That, that it's, it's not, um, it's likely not even you. If you're a Libra that has an alcohol problem or overindulgence problem, it's likely not even you. It's probably what's connected to you. You probably have an attachment. Uh... In this dark space right here, how this shadow is, that's like endings where that means that with some of you guys, you were like contemplating, like, I don't be here anymore. I'm tired. I give up. Like, nothing's right in my life. It's that victimized mode. So I'm sending you guys love uh, and light and healing for those of you guys who need it in this category. Um, contact me. Contact me. There may be something I can do to help you. Um, because if you feel like that, if you feel low, if you feel depressed, if you feel like you have to overindulge to, to, to feel better but nothing's happening, it's likely you have something attached to you. It's probably not even you. So Libra, I hope this helps. Uh, if you do want a, a general reading about your situation, um, our loved one, 
who's a Libra uh, or who is is um, adopting some of these characteristics, please contact me uh, through my website, www.candicegsmith, which again is in my description box. Um, if you need me, you know where to find me. I hope you guys have a blessed one, Libra. Bye-bye.